Tao, or Dao, Dao, from Chinese, Dao Pinyin, Dao, Tao, Listen, is a Chinese word signifying way, path, route, road, or sometimes more loosely, doctrine, principle, or holistic beliefs. In the context of East Asian philosophy and East Asian religions, Tao is the natural order of the universe whose character one's human intuition must discern in order to realize the potential for individual wisdom. This intuitive knowing of life cannot be grasped as a concept, it is known through actual living experience of one's everyday being. Lao in the Tao teaching explains that the Tao is not a name for a thing. But the underlying natural order of the universe whose ultimate essence is difficult to circumscribe due to it being non-conceptual yet evident in one's being of aliveness. The Tao is eternally nameless. Tao teaching 32. Laozi and to be distinguished from the countless named things which are considered to be its manifestations, the reality of life before its descriptions of it. The Tao lends its name to the religious tradition Wade Giles, Tao Chiao, Pinyin, Dao Jiao, and philosophical tradition Wade Giles, Tao Chia, Pinyin, Dao Jia, that are both referred to in English with the single term Taoism. Topic: <laughs> Description and uses of the concept. The word Tao Dao has a variety of meanings in both ancient and modern Chinese language. Aside from its purely prosaic use to mean road, channel, path, principle, or similar, the word has acquired a variety of differing and often confusing metaphorical, philosophical and religious uses. In most belief systems, the word is used symbolically in its sense of way as the right or proper way of existence, or in the context of ongoing practices of attainment or of the full coming into being, or the state of enlightenment or spiritual perfection that is the outcome of such practices. Some scholars make sharp distinctions between moral or ethical usage of the word Tao that is prominent in Confucianism and religious Taoism and the more metaphysical usage of the term used in philosophical Taoism and most forms of Mahayana Buddhism, others maintain that these are not separate usages or meanings, seeing them as mutually inclusive and compatible approaches to defining the principle. The original use of the term was as a form of praxis rather than theory, a term used as a convention to refer to something that otherwise cannot be discussed in words, and early writings such as the Tao Te Ching and the I Ching make pains to distinguish between conceptions of the Tao sometimes referred to as named Tao and the Tao itself the unnamed Tao, which cannot be expressed or understood in language. Lu Da asserts that the Tao is properly understood as an experiential and evolving concept, and that there are not only cultural and religious differences in the interpretation of the Tao, but personal differences that reflect the character of individual practitioners. The Tao can be roughly thought of as the flow of the universe, or as some essence or pattern behind the natural world that keeps the universe balanced and ordered. It is related to the idea of qi, the essential energy of action and existence. The Tao is a non-dualistic principle, it is the greater whole from which all the individual elements of the universe derive. Keller considers it similar to the negative theology of Western scholars, but the Tao is rarely an object of direct worship, being treated more like the Hindu concepts of karma or dharma than as a divine object. The Tao is more commonly expressed in the relationship between Wu void or emptiness, in the sense of Wuji and Yin Yang the natural dynamic balance between opposites, leading to its central principle of Wu Wei in action, or in exertion. The Tao is usually described in terms of elements of nature, and in particular as similar to water. Like water it is undifferentiated, endlessly self-replenishing, soft and quiet but immensely powerful, and impassively generous. Much of Taoist philosophy centers on the cyclical continuity of the natural world, and its contrast to the linear, goal-oriented actions of human beings. In all its uses, the Tao is considered to have ineffable qualities that prevent it from being defined or expressed in words. It can, however, be known or experienced, and its principles which can be discerned by observing nature can be followed or practiced. Much of East Asian philosophical writing focuses on the value of adhering to the principles of the Tao and the various consequences of failing to do so. 
The Tao was shared with Confucianism, Chorn and Zen Buddhism and more broadly throughout East Asian philosophy and religion in general. In Taoism, Chinese Buddhism and Confucianism, the object of spiritual practice is to become one with the Tao, Tao teaching or to harmonize one's will with nature cf. Stoicism in order to achieve effortless action wu -wei. This involves meditative and moral practices. Important in this respect is the Taoist concept of de, dare virtue. In Confucianism and religious forms of Taoism, these are often explicitly moral, ethical arguments about proper behavior, while Buddhism and more philosophical forms of Taoism usually refer to the natural and mercurial outcomes of action comparable to karma. The Tao is intrinsically related to the concepts yin and yang, pinyin, yin -yang where every action creates counteractions as unavoidable movements within manifestations of the Tao, and proper practice variously involves accepting, conforming to, or working with these natural developments. De De power, virtue, integrity is the term generally used to refer to proper adherence to the Tao, De is the active living or cultivation of the way. Particular things, things with names that manifest from the Tao have their own inner nature that they follow, in accordance with the Tao, and the following of this inner nature is De. Wu Wei pinyin, wu -ai, or naturalness is contingent on understanding and conforming to this inner nature, which is interpreted variously from a personal, individual nature to a more generalized notion of human nature within the greater universe. Historically, the concept of de differed significantly between Taoists and Confucianists. Confucianism was largely a moral system emphasizing the values of humaneness, righteousness, and filial duty, and so conceived de in terms of obedience to rigorously defined and codified social rules. Taoists took a broader, more naturalistic, metaphysical view on the relationship between humankind and the universe, and considered social rules to be at best a derivative reflection of the natural and spontaneous interactions between people, and at worst calcified structure that inhibited naturalness and created conflict. This led to some philosophical and political conflicts between Taoists and Confucians. Several sections of the works attributed to Zhuang Su are dedicated to critiques of the failures of Confucianism. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious, philosophical, and cultural interpretations. Topic: <inaudible> Taoist interpretations. Tao means a road, path, way, and hence, the way in which one does something, method, doctrine, principle. The way of heaven, for example, is ruthless, when autumn comes no leaf is spared because of its beauty, no flower because of its fragrance. The way of man means, among other things, procreation, and eunuchs are said to be far from the way of man. Chu Tao is the way to be a monarch, i.e. the art of ruling. Each school of philosophy has its Tao, its doctrine of the way in which life should be ordered. Finally in a particular school of philosophy whose followers came to be called Taoists, Tao meant the way the universe works, and ultimately something very like God, in the more abstract and philosophical sense of that term. The Tao is what gives Taoism its English name, in both its philosophical and religious forms. The Tao is the fundamental and central concept of these schools of thought. Taoism perceives the Tao as a natural order underlying the substance and activity of the universe. Language and the naming of the Tao is regarded negatively in Taoism. The Tao fundamentally exists and operates outside the realm of differentiation and linguistic constraints. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Diversity of views. The Tao causes the people to be fully in accord with the ruler. There is no single orthodox Taoist view of the Tao. All forms of Taoism center around Tao and De, but there is a broad variety of distinct interpretations among sects and even individuals in the same sect. Despite this diversity, there are some clear, common patterns and trends in Taoism and its branches. The diversity of Taoist interpretations of the Tao can be seen across four texts representative of major streams of thought in Taoism. 
All four texts are used in modern Taoism with varying acceptance and emphasis among sects. The Tao Te Ching is the oldest text and representative of a speculative and philosophical approach to the Tao. The Tao Te Lun is an 8th century exegesis of the Tao Te Ching, written from a well educated and religious viewpoint, that represents the traditional scholarly perspective. The devotional perspective of the Tao is expressed in the Qing Ching Ching, a liturgical text that was originally composed during the Han Dynasty and is used as a hymnal in religious Taoism, especially among Eremites. The Zhuangzi also spelled Zhuangzi uses literary devices such as tales, allegories, and narratives to relate the Tao to the reader, illustrating a metaphorical method of viewing and expressing the Tao. The forms and variations of religious Taoism are incredibly diverse. They integrate a broad spectrum of academic, ritualistic, supernatural, devotional, literary, and folk practices with a multitude of results. Buddhism and Confucianism particularly affected the way many sects of Taoism framed, approached, and perceived the Tao. The multitudinous branches of religious Taoism accordingly regard the Tao, and interpret writings about it, in innumerable ways. Thus, outside of a few broad similarities, it is difficult to provide an accurate yet clear summary of their interpretation of the Tao. A central tenet in most varieties of religious Taoism is that the Tao is ever present, but must be manifested, cultivated, and or perfected in order to be realized. It is the source of the universe and the seed of its primordial purity resides in all things. The manifestation of the Tao is De, which rectifies and invigorates the world with the Tao's radiance. Alternatively, philosophical Taoism regards the Tao as a non religious concept, it is not a deity to be worshipped, nor is it a mystical absolute in the religious sense of the Hindu Brahman. Joseph Wu remarked of this conception of the Tao, Tao is not religiously available, nor is it even religiously relevant. The writings of Lao Tzu and Chang Tzu are tinged with esoteric tones and approach humanism and naturalism as paradoxes. In contrast to the esotericism typically found in religious systems, the Tao is not transcendent to the self nor is mystical attainment an escape from the world in philosophical Taoism. The self steeped in the Tao is the self grounded in its place within the natural universe. A person dwelling within the Tao excels in themselves and their activities, however, this distinction is complicated by hermeneutic interpretive difficulties in the categorization of Taoist schools, sects and movements. Some scholars believe that there is no distinction between Daojia and Daojiao. According to Kirkland, most scholars who have seriously studied Taoism, both in Asia and the West, have finally abandoned the simplistic dichotomy of Daojia and Daojiao, philosophical Taoism, and religious Taoism. Topic: <laughs> Confucian interpretations. The Tao or Way of Confucius can be said to be truth. Confucianism regards the way, or truth, as concordant with a particular approach to life, politics, and tradition. It is held as equally necessary and well regarded as de virtue and ren humanity. Confucius presents a humanistic Tao. He only rarely speaks of the Tian Tao way of heaven. An influential early Confucian, Hsiin Su, explicitly noted this contrast. Though he acknowledged the existence and celestial importance of the way of heaven, he insisted that the Tao principally concerns human affairs. As a formal religious concept in Confucianism, Tao is the absolute towards which the faithful move. In Jung Yong, the doctrine of the mean, harmony with the absolute is equivalent to integrity and sincerity. The Great Learning expands on this concept, explaining that the way illuminates virtue, improves the people, and resides within the purest morality. During the Tang dynasty, Han Yu further formalized and defined Confucian beliefs as an apologetic response to Buddhism. He emphasized the ethics of the way. He explicitly paired Tao and De, focusing on humane nature and righteousness. He also framed and elaborated on a Dao Tong tradition of the way in order to reject the traditions of Buddhism. Buddhist interpretations Buddhism first started to spread in China during the 1st century AD and was experiencing a golden age of growth and maturation by the 4th century AD. 
Hundreds of collections of Pali and Sanskrit texts were translated into Chinese by Buddhist monks within a short period of time. Dhyana was translated as Chan and later as Zen, giving Zen Buddhism its name. The use of Chinese concepts, such as Tao, that were close to Buddhist ideas and terms helped spread the religion and make it more amenable to the Chinese people. However, the differences between the Sanskrit and Chinese terminology led to some initial misunderstandings and the eventual development of East Asian Buddhism as a distinct entity. As part of this process, many Chinese words introduced their rich semantic and philosophical associations into Buddhism, including the use of Tao for central concepts and tenets of Buddhism. Pai Chang Huai Hai told a student who was grappling with difficult portions of suttas, Take up words in order to manifest meaning and you'll obtain meaning. Cut off words and meaning is emptiness. Emptiness is the Tao. The Tao is cutting off words and speech. Chan Zen Buddhists regard the Tao as synonymous with both the Buddhist path Marga and the results of it, the Eightfold Path and Buddhist Enlightenment Satori. Pai Chang's statement plays upon this usage in the context of the fluid and varied Chinese usage of Tao. Words and meaning are used to refer to rituals and practice. The emptiness refers to the Buddhist concept of sunyata. Finding the Tao and Buddha nature is not simply a matter of formulations, but an active response to the Four Noble Truths that cannot be fully expressed or conveyed in words and concrete associations. The use of Tao in this context refers to the literal way of Buddhism, the return to the universal source, Dharma, proper meditation, and Nirvana, among other associations. Tao is commonly used in this fashion by Chinese Buddhists, heavy with associations and nuanced meanings. Neo-Confucian interpretations During the Song dynasty, Neo-Confucians regarded Tao as the purest thing in itself. Xiaoyong regarded the Tao as the origin of heaven, earth, and everything within them. In contrast, Zhang Zai presented a vitalistic Tao that was the fundamental component or effect of qi, the motive energy behind life and the world. A number of later scholars adopted this interpretation, such as Tai Chen during the Qing dynasty, Zhu Xi, Cheng Ho, and Cheng Yi perceived the Tao in the context of Li principle and Tian Li the principle of heaven. Cheng Hao regarded the fundamental matter of Li, and thus Tao, to be humanus. Developing compassion, altruism, and other humane virtues is the following of the way. Cheng Yi followed this interpretation, elaborating on this perspective of Tao through teachings about yin yang interactions, the cultivation and preservation of life, and the axiom of a morally just universe. In total, the Tao is equated with the Absolute. Wang Fuji expressed the Tao as the Tai Chi, the great ultimate, as well as the road leading to it. Nothing exists apart from the principle of heaven in Neo Confucianism. The way is contained within all things. Thus, the religious life is not an elite or special journey for Neo-Confucians. The normal, mundane life is the path that leads to the Absolute, because the Absolute is contained within the mundane objects and events of daily life. <laughs> <laughs> Christian interpretations Noted Christian author C.S. Lewis used the word Tao to describe the doctrine of objective value, the belief that certain attitudes are really true, and others really false, the kind of thing the universe is and the kind of things we are. He asserted that every religion and philosophy contains foundations of universal ethics as an attempt to line up with the Tao the way mankind was designed to be. In Lewis' thinking, God created the Tao and fully displayed it through the person of Jesus Christ. Also the Greek word used in the New Testament for the way is hodos, hodos. Here the way refers to the path of righteousness and salvation as revealed through Christ. In Chinese translations of the New Testament, Logos Logos is translated with the Chinese word Tao, Tao e.g. John chapter 1 verse 1, indicating that the translators considered the concept of Tao to be somewhat equivalent to Logos in Greek philosophy. Topic. Linguistic aspects 
The term Dao Dao is analyzable in terms of Chinese characters, alternate Dao way", or Dao guide". Pronunciations and meanings, a possible Proto-Indo-European etymology, and loanwords such as English Dao or Dao. Characters Dao is written with the Chinese character Dao in both traditional Chinese and simplified Chinese. It typifies the most common Chinese character classification of «radical phonetic» or «phono-semantic» graphs, which compound a «radical» or «signific» roughly providing semantic information with a «phonetic» suggesting ancient pronunciation. Dao Dao graphically combines the Chuo Chuo or Chuo Go radical and Shou Shou head phonetic. Furthermore, Dao Dao is the phonetic element in Dao Dao guide led with the Kun Kun thumb hand radical and Dao Dao a tree name with the Mu Mu tree wood radical. The traditional interpretation of the Dao character, dating back to the 121 CE Shuo and Jiezi dictionary, was a rare huiyi huiyi compound ideogram or ideogramic compound. The combination of chuo chuo go and shou shou head numbers 162 and 185 in the Kangxi radicals signified a head going or to lead the way. Dao is graphically distinguished between its earliest nominal meaning of Dao Dao, way, road, path, and the later verbal sense of say. It should also be contrasted with Dao Dao, lead the way, guide, conduct, direct. The simplified character Dao for Dao Dao has cc. Sixth of the twelve earthly branches in place of Dao Dao. The earliest written forms of Dao are bronzeware script and seal script characters from Zhou Dynasty 1045 BCE bronzes and writings. These ancient Dao characters more clearly depict the Shou Shou head element as hair above a face. Some variants interchange the Chuo Chuo go, advance radical with the Zing Zing go, road radical, with the original bronze crossroads depiction written in the seal character with two Qi and Chu footprints. Bronze scripts for Dao Dao occasionally include an element of Shou Shou hand or Kun Kun thumb, hand, which occurs in Dao Dao lead. The linguist Peter A. Budberg explained, this Tao with the hand element is usually identified with the modern character Dao Tao to lead, guide, conduct, and considered to be a derivative or verbal cognate of the noun Tao, way, path. The evidence just summarized would indicate rather that Tao with the hand is but a variant of the basic Tao and that the word itself combined both nominal and verbal aspects of the etymon. This is supported by textual examples of the use of the primary Tao in the verbal sense to lead e.g., Analects 1.5, 2.8 and seriously undermines the unspoken assumption implied in the common translation of Tao as way that the concept is essentially a nominal one. Tao would seem, then, to be etymologically a more dynamic concept than we have made it translation-wise. It would be more appropriately rendered by lead way and load way, course, journey, leading, guidance, cf. Lodestone and lodestar, the somewhat obsolescent deverbal noun from to lead. These Confucian analect citations of Tao verbally meaning to guide, to lead are, the master said, in guiding a state of a thousand chariots, approach your duties with reverence and be trustworthy in what you say, and the master said, guide them by edicts, keep them in line with punishments, and the common people will stay out of trouble but will have no sense of shame. Topic. Pronunciation In modern standard Chinese, Dao Dao's pronunciations are tonally differentiated between fourth falling tone Dao way, path", and third dipping tone Dao usually written Dao guide, led". Besides these common fourth and third tonal specifications Dao Dao way", and Dao Dao, or Dao guide", Dao has a rare first-level tone Dao pronunciation in the regional idiomatic expression Shen Shen Dao Dao Shane Shane Dao Dao Odd, bizarre. This reduplication of Shen Shane Spirit, God", 
and Dao occurs in Northeast China speech. In Middle Chinese CA 6th-10th centuries CE tone name categories, Dao and Dao, Dao were Kasheng Chusheng, departing tone, and Shangsheng Shangsheng, rising tone. Historical linguists have reconstructed Middle Dao, way, and Dao, guide. As Dao and Dao, Bernard Carlgren, Dai and Dai, Joe Fagau, Dor and Dor, Edwin G. Pulleyblank, Early Middle, D. A. W. X. and Dors, William H. Baxter, and Dorb and Dork, Axel Schusler, in Old Chinese, ca. 7th-3rd centuries BCE, pronunciations, reconstructions for Dao, Way, and Dao, D. Guide. Are asterisk dog Carlgren, asterisk DW, Joe, asterisk DGWX and asterisk DGWH, Lee Fangui, asterisk Lu, Baxter, and asterisk Lu and asterisk Lu, Schusler. Topic Meanings The word Dao Dao has many meanings. For example, the Chinese Hanyu Da Zidian Dictionary defines 39 meanings for Dao Dao, way, path, and 6 for Dao Dao, guide, led. John de Francis's Chinese English Dictionary gives 12 meanings for Dao Dao, way, path, say, 3 for Dao Dao or Dao, guide, led, and 1 for Dao Dao in an odd, bizarre, idiomatic expression. Note that brackets clarify abbreviations and ellipsis marks omitted usage examples. 2 Diao Dao N noun road path M. Nominal measure word 1 for rivers, topics, etc. 2 for a course of food, a streak of light, etc. V. Verb 1 say, speak, talk introducing direct quote, novel style, 2 think, suppose bf. Bound form, bound morpheme, one channel, two way, reason, principle, three doctrine, four Taoism, five line, six hist, history, seven district, circuit canal, passage, tube eight say, polite words. See also four Diao, four Diao, four Diao Dao, Dao Dao BF. Bound form, one guide, led, two transmit, conduct, three instruct, direct. 4 Diao Dao in Shen Shen Dao Dao, Shen Shen Dao Dao RF reduplicated form Topo. Non-Mandarin form odd, fantastic, bizarre. Topic etymologies The etymological linguistic origins of Dao way, path, depend upon its Old Chinese pronunciation, which scholars have tentatively reconstructed as asterisk dog, asterisk dgwx, asterisk dw, asterisk lu, and asterisk lu. Budberg noted that the show show head phonetic in the Dao Dao character was not merely phonetic but etymonic, analogous with English to head meaning to lead and to tend in a certain direction, a head, headway. Peronomastically, Tao is equated with its homonym Dao Tao to trample, tread, and from that point of view it is nothing more than a treadway, head tread, or foretread. It is also occasionally associated with a near synonym and possible cognate DT follow a road, go along, lead, direct, pursue the right path, a term with definite ethical overtones and a graph with an exceedingly interesting phonetic, UU to proceed from. The reappearance of C-162 in T with the support of C-157 in Tao, to trample, tread, should perhaps serve us as a warning not to overemphasize the headworking functions implied in Tao in preference to those of the lower extremities. Victor H. Mayer proposes a Proto-Indo-European etymology for Dao Dao, supported by numerous cognates in Indo-European languages, and semantically similar Arabic and Hebrew words. The archaic pronunciation of Tao sounded approximately like drog or dog. This links it to the Proto-Indo-European root drog to run along and Indo-European dog way, movement. Related words in a few modern Indo-European languages are Russian daroga way, road, Polish droga way, road, Czech draha way, track, Serbo-Croatian draga path through a valley, and Norwegian dialect drog trail of animals, valley. The nearest Sanskrit Old Indian cognates to Tao drug are Dh Rajas course, motion and Dhraj course. The most closely related English words are track and trek, while trail and tract are derived from other cognate Indo-European roots. Following the way, then, is like going on a cosmic trek. 
Even more unexpected than the panoply of Indo-European cognates for tau drug is the Hebrew root drg for the same word and Arabic trq, which yields words meaning track, path, way, way of doing things and is important in Islamic philosophical discourse. Axel Schusler's etymological dictionary presents two possibilities for the tonal morphology of Dao Dao road, way, method, to go along, bring along, conduct, explain, talk about the thing which is doing the conducting is a tone B shang sheng shang sheng rising tone endoactive noun derivation from Dao Dao conduct, or Dao Dao is a later Old Chinese warring states period general tone C ka sheng chu sheng departing tone derivation from Dao Dao way. For a possible etymological connection, Schusler notes the ancient Fangyan dictionary defines U road. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Loanwords. Many languages have borrowed and adapted Chinese Dao Dao, the way, as a loanword. In Chinese, this character Dao is pronounced as Cantonese Dao six and Hokkien to seven. In Sino Zenic languages, Dao is pronounced as Japanese Du, Tu, or Michi, Korean Du or Tu, and Vietnamese Dao, Dao, or In Hao. Since 1982, when the International Organization for Standardization adopted Pinyin as the standard romanization of Chinese, many Western languages have changed from spelling this loanword Tao in national systems, e.g., French EFEO Chinese transcription and English Wade Giles to Dao in Pinyin. The Tao, Dao the way english word of chinese origin has 3 meanings according to the oxford english dictionary 1 a in taoism an absolute entity which is the source of the universe the way in which this absolute entity functions point 1 b equals taoism taoist 2 in confucianism and in extended uses the way to be followed the right conduct doctrine or method the earliest recorded usages were Tao 1736, Tao 1747, Taro 1831, and Dao 1971. A derivative, Daoshi, Chinese, Taoist Dao priest, was used already by the Jesuits Matteo Ricci and Nicholas Trigault in their De Christiana expedition Apid Sinas, rendered as Taozu in the original Latin edition 1615, and Tausa in an early English translation published by Samuel Purchase 1625. Topic. See also. Taoism. Taoism. Romanization issue. Dharma Logos Fard RTA God Absolute Philosophy Notes <laughs> <laughs>